It's, it's okay for Miguel Cotto mm -hmm. to, you know, represent mm -hmm. the Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. I mean, the Puerto Rican fans and represent the Puerto Rican flag. Mm -hmm. I'm a black, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a black, I'm a black American. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe in supporting my own. I believe in supporting my own first. Mm -hmm. That's where I come from, mm -hmm. and only they can feel my struggle. Mm -hmm. If you come from the same background as I come from, Lisa. so they can feel my struggle. And so, and, and, and that's what I'm gonna stand by. Do you feel that that part of what you said was kind of downplayed? Well, it's not. What well, I don't feel that. You know, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not racist at all. You know, because. Mm -hmm. I have Jewish. I have Jewish people that work for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Dominican, Mexican, Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. white. Mm -hmm. You know what? Well, I'll show you one of my best friends. What mm -hmm. kid? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you, kid? Puerto Rican? Huh? Puerto Rican? All American, all, oh, sure. He's a white guy. All American, baby. He's my guy, though. Hey, hey Floyd. Floyd. Can you talk about turning 35? Has Father Time affected you at all? I don't, I, I really don't know. We have to see, you know, May 5th. You know, I went to the boxing gym last night, I think about 1 in the morning. Uh, boxing gym in Brooklyn. Um, um, Zab Judah, father, has a boxing gym. Yoel Judah has a boxing gym. So, you know, I went to the boxing gym uh, last night in Brooklyn. It, it was fun. It was fun. It's just that, you know, when I first, you know, in my career, you know, because of course, you know, we're not really at the end yet, but we're slowly getting there. <laughs> um, I always picture I was gonna be on this level. How much longer uh, are you gonna do this? Uh, you know, I don't know. But you know, I got to take my hat off to Al Haney. Mm -hmm. He has done an amazing job outside of boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, as far as you know, me being in a very, very lucrative position. So I gotta give you know give thanks to Al Heyman. Mm -hmm. You know, if Al Heyman was with me from the beginning, man, it'd have been amazing. But you know, we've been together a very, very long time now. And the LB the steady grinding has been with me. And um, I was I was up la I was up la late last night watching ESPN classes. They had me on their fight. It was, you know, it was a great thing. I look back on them times and say, you know what? You know, someday I'm gonna hand the torch to another young fighter. You know, it could be Yuri Boy, it could be Yuri Gamboa, it could be Broner. We just don't know. But you know, you know, I love to hand it home, you know, to one of those fighters. You know, I haven't really I seen Broner fight a few times. And, um, you know, as as of right now, he's he's still in a, a learning stage. Even though he's champion, it's still a learning stage, because fighters don't understand when it's at this level, it's, 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 it's different. Did you just want to get a feel for where you're at by going to the gym at that hour? At that hour? No, you know I got you know I got you know I'm older, so you know I can't wait to the last minute. You know, in the past I was stand I was fighting on the regular, so I'll stay six weeks, give it to me, I'm ready. You know, now you know I like to go nine to eight weeks. You know, so about you know, boxing, get a lot of rounds in boxing. You know, if you see a lot of these fighters now, they don't really like contact, so they box with the bar on. It's a it's a bar inside there. You know, I don't box with the bar. You know, I prepare myself. You know, if I get hit with a good shot, then I can bounce back. You know, like a shot that um, um Shane hit me with, and you know, I knew he was gonna end up hitting me with a shot because I was pressing the attack so hard. But, you know, uh, once we locked up once, I can see how I was much stronger than him. I say he's a beat fighter. Should we sort of take that as a sign that you were pretty respectful of your opponent? And I'm respectful for all my opponents. You know, I, I don't overlook them cause, because, you know, I, I trash talk. You know, you know, that's me. That's what I like to do. It's not being cocky or it's not trash talking if you're backing it up. It's honesty. They're like, yo, he, he done it. Lord. Happy birthday, right, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Floyd, let's do Floyd, I don't know if you talked about this before, but let's stick to the Cotto fight. It seems to me that the reason, uh, well, this fight was supposed to take place around when you fought Brucellus, but that didn't happen because he was a top-ranked fighter. Do you think that this fight was, well, I think that this fight was easy to make because he's without top rank and without Bob Arum. Do you agree with that? Yes. I mean, you know, uh, like Bob Arum like to match top rank fighters with top rank fighters. He keep all the money in-house. And he controls all the revenue. 
you know, uh, it's, it's going to be hard. Like I said, it's going to be hard. To, do I want the Pacquiao fight? Absolutely. But it's going to be hard to make the fight because Aram is worried, Aram is worried about getting money. You know? But what if the fighters keep saying, like Pacquiao, I'm going to let my promoter take the fight? What does that say about him in your mind as a fighter? You're a fighter. If you want to fight somebody, I think, you know? I think it's saying that he don't really want to fight. I mean, everybody has been misled for so long. This guy has piggybacked off me, off my name, and, and made good money off my name. All everybody say when they mention back, yo, uh, that's the guy that they want to fight, Floyd Mayweather. I'm an all-time great with or without back here. You know, I don't think it just being a sport. I, was, I wasn't in the sport two years. I became world champion in a year. I've been in the sport for. Then to now, and and I beat you for your belt and give it back. Like I said before, a belt don't make me. I I really I'm, I really beat uh, made rest in peace. I really beat Diego Corrales for the IBF. I really beat um what's the guy? I done fought so many fighters. Him? No, the guy right after I fought um, Junior Hernandez, Angel Manfredi. He had the IBF, so I beat Manfredi for the IBF. I beat Diego for the IBF. I really beat Shane just for the WBA. These belts I didn't even take.